Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And if you want to learn how to get a launcher just like this for Minecraft Bedrock, today I'll be teaching you how to do that. As you can see, it looks just like the Java launcher. So many releases, all the versions, everything. So yeah, let's get into it. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to my website or the first link in the description. As you can see, it's still a Wix site working on getting a domain. Then you're just gonna scroll all the way down to the Bedrock Launcher button and click that. Should open up this page and then you're gonna press proceed and then go hit go to destination. It should open up this page, read any articles if you want, do whatever. And then it will give you this little countdown. And after the countdown, there will be pop-ups and just close them right away. Don't even worry about them. It will take a couple times. As long as you close them right away, there's nothing to worry about. I assure you 100% safe. And then it will give you another countdown for some reason. I'm not even really sure why at this point. And now that it's done, hit proceed to target, of course. A couple more pop-ups. Shouldn't be nearly as much as before. Then you get brought to the Bedrock Launcher. Now what you're going to do is press download. You will need a Microsoft account for this. It is not pirating Minecraft. Press keep, of course, it is a safe file. And then just go ahead and open it up there. It will do a little Windows open thing. And then it will download. After you download it, you can just head over to your files, click, not that, but the other file. And then click start bedrock launcher.exe. After you open it, it should just open just fine it might download a little slower because I already had it installed but if it's not installed and there's a little thing that says you need dot windows runtime desktop 6 or something you head over back to my website and then dot net desktop runtime download and then you're pretty much just gonna do the exact same thing as you did earlier with the launcher don't click anything, don't do whatever. Now that we finished with that, it should bring you to this page and then the download will start. And it's a completely safe file, press keep again. I'm gonna discard it just because I already have it installed, but it will go to the top of your downloads and then you just run it and it will install just fine. Then go back to your start, bed bedrock launcher and click it it'll run and it'll ask which directory you want to install it in go to the recommended and hit next and you can choose your minecraft microsoft account uh, i'm not because it has you know personal information but you just choose yours and then backup save data if you want it was just a crash report for me because I already have it installed, so there was probably some error trying to reinstall it, you know, without uninstalling it. Then you can, it looks just like the Java launcher. You can go to installations, see all these versions. Just about, I think, every version there's ever been. And then, yeah. So, if you want to go to play and just play whatever release you want, it will take a while the first time to download everything. And, and I did forget one thing. If you want a shortcut for this, you just go over to app and then scroll down to bedrocklauncher.exe. Press right click it and then show more options. Create a shortcut. Now pretty much just go up here and then it should say shortcut. After that, you can just drag it onto your desktop then if you double click it, open it, boom, it will be right on your desktop. Simple as that. So yeah. If this was helpful to you, please like or subscribe. 
really anything at all helps but leave any questions you have in the comments i think this was a pretty smooth thing and i don't think there's a lot of things you can go wrong with this but if you still if you have any questions ask them in the comments thank you so much for watching and bye